Dick. Yes. Hello. Hello. No. What the hell have you been doing? You know, well, you know how I said we've got to start sharpish. Yeah, because you want to eat at eight o'clock. Yeah. Do you know what happened? What happened? My you bloody to... computer. No, my bloody computer let me down by, by denying me audio and video. So do you know what I had to do? Restart it. I had to restart. Yeah. And Have also, an do you know what? I sort of feel that oh, people, oh, yeah. people, will be, people will be disappointed if um we should have advertised it shouldn't we? we should have advertised it on um on twitter do you remember twitter that that social um, media website that we the used to place it used to be so much fun mm. our little playground um, anyway hello yeah, everyone exactly. who, who is um coming in and uh and watching and um hmm. yeah <laughs> this is our first um our first live cast post apocalypse yeah are you just very very still at the moment or or are you thinking about things or have you frozen <laughs> this is what they come for we come for the for the quality computer moments can you actually hear me brother um i have a um a a uh a, a whatsapp link to to simon and james to, to, so we can discuss tech issues when this sort of thing happens but uh yeah frozen already lol yeah simon are, are you are there well welcome chat and hint hint super chat yeah okay no. do you know what happened? what happened oh i no, because whatever it is it's happened again you're frozen i live in the I live in the country and um, I've got up speed in it and I've spent a fortune on all manner of submitting a satellite one. And just recently, the satellite one, which is my most reliable one, has taken to turning off randomly. It's like, it's unbelievable. It's so annoying. In the middle of podcasts, like I was doing a podcast only the other day with a guy called Professor Matthew Spaulding, who's at um, uh, Hillsdale College. And we were talking about the US Constitution. And it was quite, a, quite an interesting, deep conversation, which will be out on my, on my, you know, the usual places sometime soon. And um, frozen again. No. I had all sorts of things written down that I was going to be discussing as well. And um, I can't really just do a monologue. I'm not a monologue -y kind of person. Um, so this is hugely awkward. Dead air. Yep. Thank you, Simon, for pointing out my dead air. I don't know what to do. Is it? Could it be because there's other people hammering the internet in his house? I don't think there is at the moment, though. Um, because this isn't going to work if it's like this. Um, oh, he's gone completely. Well, yeah, this just leaves me holding the fort on my own. I don't know if any of you were party to the fantastic pylon instigated by the vile Otto English the other day, but that was uh, one of the first things I was going to be uh, bringing up in our conversation, brother. What's that? Otto English. I got those words. He's a very nasty piece of work, isn't he? he? He's a horrible person. I mean, who I is he? What? I never have any exchange. Yeah, that's well, his real some... name. Yeah, the, I, I think there's stuff out there on who he really is, but uh, uh, and then he denies that he's the person who everyone says he is. And it, it doesn't really matter because he's actually a nobody. But he, out of the blue, decided to target me by digging through a tweet I'd made in July about people wearing masks in Worcester or not and uh it was meant to be a kind of a I bet you feel stupid about tweeting this now my view hasn't changed at all we, we shouldn't have been locking down in the middle of July um masking up and uh I mean looking back at July it was a very mild period for for the whole uh, Bud Light scenario so he wasn't going to embarrass me that yeah. way. I wasn't going to take down the tweet because, of course, by taking it down, everyone goes, the tweet now deleted. But 
it, it caused a vast oh. amount of horrible trolls to pile in on me and um, leave lovely messages like, uh, well, I've got, I did, a, I did grabs of a few of them. And I just went on a block fest. I pretty much blocked everyone who, um, who, who was piling in. It's what in you have to do. They don't want dialogue. They, they want to take you down. But there was this one that Who's particularly the... stuck okay. out. This one was from Jamie Clark Buckminster at Jamie Clark Buck One. His message went thus. By all accounts, you'll block me as soon as you read my tweet. So I'll have to make this as concise as possible. You're a C word spelt out in full. Now you can block me, snowflake, snowflake icon. I thought, you know what, Jamie? I'm not going to block you. I'm going to retweet this instead as a prime example of why you don't engage with the sort of people who take part in a pylon. And so I retweeted it. I said, this is a bit of yeah. an example of the love that I've been getting lately. Um, yeah. And what did he do? Oh, right. Thank you, Jane B. That's a very kind donation. Thank you, Jane um, B. So One. having retweeted it, he immediately blocks me. Okay. And then he, he locked his account. So, you know, it's a typical example of the way the things they accuse us of, they are m the most guilty of. Oh, yeah, that's, that's always um, social justice war. SJWs always project. Vox mm. Day is absolutely right on that, as he is on so many things. Before we are ans answer Jane B's question, which is an interesting one, um, who's the other guy, the guy who lives in a basement who runs that very nasty website. Uh, I think he might even live with his mum. I'm, I'm not sure. He lives in a basement, and Tommy Robinson once went to knock on his door and scared the shit out of him after he'd been harassing right. Tommy far too many times. Um, he writes very nice. He's, he's, kind of he's kind of obsessive in his pursuit of people like us. No, um, well, let's, let's, uh, let's not stuck, not very. Well, no, that's it, it. It's like it's like um, that that chap you mentioned. Um, in fact, in fact, Simon, Simon, who is a repository of all knowledge, he suggested that about Otto English, Otto English on vibes. Is that right? Is that was is it a Bonzo dog doodah band quote? Is that is that is that where he got the pseudonym? I don't, I don't think it um, comes up with that, does it? Oh, right. oh, oh, well, I don't know. Pseudonym. So answer answer the question from our, our kind donor. Um, uh, yeah, I'm beginning to feel that way. It's interesting. I've been going through um, in the last year. I, 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 well, I mean, this this year it's really come to a head. I think it had been. I'd been gradually heading that way anyway. But I really feel like I've moved on to a kind of parallel civilization from 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 the mainstream, and that I think probably lots of people here feel the same way. Um, I, I mean, I suppose the best analogy is the Matrix, isn't it? The the the, the red pill, blue pill. Always dichotomy. has been, probably always will be. It hasn't been bettered, has it? I I just don't accept this this corrupt, dishonest system that we we currently inhabit. I mean, I I I cannot bring myself to read the newspaper anymore because it hurts me seeing. Um, Seeing them gaslighting us, apart from anything else, um, they, you know, they're acting as if Biden is a legitimate president, which I find extraordinary. Absolutely well, this extraordinary. This should bring us on to, um, to the, the big question, obviously. This is, I think you alluded to it on your, um, uh, your private thing, what it, your, your Patreon, that um, you are you feel like you've been part of a doomsday cult and the rapture date has passed and um it, you're oh, left thinking, no, that's a, oh. that's a separate issue but one well worth talking about dick i think i think a lot of us feel like that that in the run-up to the 20th to the inauguration i think uh, i'm gonna have to change my light soon because it's going to give people epileptic fits and that would be that would be bad wouldn't it <laughs> um but, but I felt in the run-up to the election that that Trump was going to play his master stroke and it was going to be epic. And I'm still not ruling it out. We can talk about this a bit. Um, we, we will talk about this in the moment because it's interesting. 
But um, I did feel when Biden was finally in inaugurated and, and the National Guard didn't move in to arrest him, followed by arresting Bill Gates and, and Mark Zuckerberg and all the other people, the, the myriad people that one wanted arresting. Um, I did feel like, like a member of one of those millennial cults where the spaceship hasn't come down from the heavens and everyone's standing around looking slightly bewildered and going, uh, well, that wasn't part of the plan. Um, is, is, is that rather how you feel, Dick, at the moment? Um, I don't think I was pinning as much hope as you on, on it happening. Uh, I was, gosh, possibly more cynical than you. But um, it, it, it was too much to hope for. And, and I did want that regular dose of hopium. Uh, and I would seek it out whenever I could find it. But you, you had a, and you interviewed that Charlie Ward, is that right? Yes, Ch the, the the Charlie Ward thing um, was was slightly unexpected. People think so, people think it was a kind of plan thing where I was, um, you know, <laughs> I, what actually happened with Charlie Ward was that I was looking at my Twitter one day and I saw something that I agreed with, and I saw that it was this bloke called Charlie Ward who followed me. And I wasn't really that aware who he was. Um, I remembered something about Nessara Jessara, the thing that he talks about, you know, this kind of um, the gold standard and and the re, re, reset of the currency and so on. Mm -hmm. And I thought I thought he'd be um, good to do a podcast with, you know, and so he could explain it to me. And um I said, you know, how about tomorrow? And it, and it turned out that he was quite in demand. He said, you know, do you have to book through my secretary? And so I booked a, booked a thing two weeks hence. And then I completely forgot about it until I was sitting at my desk and I got this message saying, ready when you are. And I thought, fuck, he's waiting to start the pop. Yeah, it was, it was really rather, rather embarrassing. Um, so um, I, I, if I look slightly bewildered in the interview, it was, or the, the conversation, because I don't do interviews, um, it was partly the fact that I was I was thinking how can I how can I um, uh, uh, not give away the fact that I don't really know who the guy is um, except vaguely um, so that was slightly embarrassing. I think you got away with it quite um, well in that case. Oh yeah, yeah. But okay, the thing about Charlie Ward, I I since since Biden since the fake president got into the Oval Office. I you, found myself. Thank you. Thank you, El Chumbo. This bloody annoying phone. Do you know what happened this morning? I did a podcast with, I did my Laura Perrins mm -hmm. vidcast and I forgot to recharge the, the annoying batteries on the one light that I use. And um, yeah, I did get over to, that's a good point. I've got loads of views. Um, and so annoyingly, that's why it's flashing now. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so Charlie Ward. I've become since since the, the the fake the fake president got into the Oval Office, I've become something of a connoisseur of the different levels of hopium, mm -hmm. and I know that us disappointed Trump supporters have been divided on this issue. Is hopium a good thing or a bad thing thank you Paul is, Dean. thank you paul dean oh this is it's an awkward one i mean I, i'm okay talking about jordan peterson because i don't know him but douglas douglas I, I i like him so much and it's it's like it's like a, it's a bit like when one of your buddies um when the when the germans start start surrounding bastogne and he kind of cowers blubbing in the bottom of the of the foxhole when he should be fighting back. And you kind of think, hmm. Look, it's not you really what I expected. about the disco light at this point. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, hang on. Because it's, you, you, uh, talk, you talk to them. I know. As, you as talk Nick to them. Lincoln, hello, Nick, um, uh, pointed out. Dick, talk to them while I do the all, light. It's gone all disco. Um, yeah, that Charlie Ward thing, My, I was listening through and a lot of what he said was great but i got to the bit where he starts to say and all all loans will be cancelled and and james pointed out uh but hang on isn't a mortgage quite a reasonable way of buying a house you know surely 
um, borrowing the money to buy a house and then paying it back with an interest rate isn't kind of the worst thing in the world. So, uh, yeah, I, I started to lose it with that particular podcast at that time. And the stuff when he talks about, yes, it will end with a fake alien invasion. Well, yeah. So I kind of abandoned that particular podcast. Um, uh, disco finished. So, disco over. It was well, very, it's very over for a while. It is much better. So now. anyway, so levels of hopium. Hopium. So, so okay. So you've got the. I mean, the sort of ethereal kind of um, super hopium which is provided by people like Charlie Ward and Simon Parks. Mm -hmm. And I, I listen to, are you, have you listened to the Simon Parks ones? No. Okay. So Simon Parks is a, a former town councillor from the West country. He's into kind of new agey things. He loves his, he loves his cat and he loves his dog. And he, gives these very soothing takes, allegedly insider takes on what's going to happen. And there is a plan and Trump has got it all sorted. And it's just like the white hats are going to, don't you worry, the white hats are going to beat. The, I have been given the, the Simon Parks' name as someone to check out already, but by another friend. Okay. So yeah, I knew that, I knew the name was ringing a bell. And people, when they want to, one of the reasons they they want to pull scorn on 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 Simon Parks is they point out that he's he claims to have uh, fathered a child by a, a, an alien, I think, or something. He believes Simon in UFOs is saying and stuff. Alien man, yeah. Alien man, yes. Okay. So there's there's Simon, and Simon is an associate of of um, Charlie Charlie Ward, and Charlie Ward is a kind of more of a, he's like a sort of more of a sort of you can imagine he was involved in the Brinks Matt robbery, something like that. He's got a more mm. of a sort of East End gangster feel about yeah. him. He's got sort of Cosmodel crime feel about him. Geezer, geezer, he's a geezer. Now, I found him him quite entertaining. I, I got a lot of massive pushback from some of my, you know, I mean, what I say, some about two or three of my of my my patrons who just said, "I think you've you've just destroyed your credibility." And <laughs> uh, but, um, my view is, well, a what what credibility? I mean, you know, I am who I am. I, I it's not like I've become this different person. It's not like suddenly I don't know how you can destroy your credibility by, by by doing one podcast. Anyway. Charlie, I would say, is not as bright and fluent as, um, as, as, as Simon Parks. He hasn't got that soothing manner. But the thing I, I think about both Parks and, and, and Ward um, is that although a, a lot of what they say may be complete bollocks, they clearly are tuned to the kind of Trumpist Trumposphere to the point where they get some element of information and they synthesize that information. Um, so what you probably find is that it's a bit like being analysis. It's a bit like being um, Robert Redford in the beginning of Three Days of the Condor. You know, your job is to read lots and lots of stuff, and you're sifting through all this information, and there are nuggets of gold amid the amid the bullion the bullion dross yeah and also simon parts has got mi5 connections and um and and whatever so um my view is that yeah you this you probably find some interesting stuff there but it's working out which is the, which is real and which is which is um which is fantasy um and then you've got the x what's the x thingy report um uh Somebody, somebody mentioned it early on. X, it's got an X in it. Oh God, X twenty two report. Yeah. So he's a he's an American guy, and he again he's there's, going a, there's, a, there's a there's a there's a he's got he's got a soothing a soothing feel about him. Like it's everything's everything's it's all under control. Don't you worry, don't you worry, and. X twenty two also is connected with um, the, there's a, 
he, he refers to QAnon stuff. And I, I, it's only recently that I've become vaguely familiar with some of the, the QAnon tropes. And I'm a bit suspicious of QAnon. It, the, the QAnon people refer to it like it's the, it's the book of Revelation or something like that, or the, it, it's the key to all mythologies. And my feeling is either it was, as somebody said to Jack, Pesobiec, where I've pronounced it the other day. Um, it's a just a bunch of kind of four channers pranking, you know, just just uh, appropriating the various kind of obsessions of of, um, of 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 Trump people and then weaponizing them. Um, or it's a, it's a it's a a sinister campaign by the left to stop people like us. Um, well, Americans anyway, um, getting out their their their, their semi-automatic rifles. Well, this is, this and, is why and, a lot of our, our commenters are saying Q is a psyop. So yeah, that that that's the yes. other, the other school of. Thought. I'm I'm of the view that Q is a, a, a psyop. I don't like QAnon, and I don't um, I don't I don't trust it at all. And I think it is I think it is a bad thing. So, which is why I've 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 stopped listening to X twenty two because I don't I don't really I don't really trust him. But here's the thing: even though I don't at all believe in QAnon, and I'm well, I <laughs> I take Simon Parks and um and Charlie Ward with a pinch of salt, even though I think that that they've got nuggets of wisdom and insight there. I don't think any of the people who say Trump. That, that, that Trump hasn't got a plan and it's all over. I don't think any of those people have taken into account properly the nature of Donald Trump, number one. I mean, he, you know, I, I don't know whether he can genuinely play 5D chess, but it seems to me that this is a guy that if he has a presidential election stolen from him in such a blatant and obvious manner, and if as he surely must, he sees that unless somehow he can find a way back into the Oval Office, it will be the end of Western civilization. Because my goodness, we need a counter to the the Chinese Communist Party hegemony and 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 the Great Reset, which the WF is is currently enacting. Uh, given given all that, I. I'm a bit surprised by the sort of the damp squib nature of everything that's happened so far. I can see why people are saying, well, hang on, something else must be must be happening. Bill, must be something Bill Danubio is asking a question that you probably don't want to answer right now. No, you're actually, Bill, Bill, Bill Danubio, um, I'm, I'm a bit suspicious about the fact you're paying in euros. That's that's um, <laughs> but thank you for that. Raheem and I um we started, Bannon recruited us to be on, to, to launch Breitbart London. And Breitbart London, I was going to be, I was, because I was, I was a name with, with, you know, a, a lot of history in, in the media and stuff. It was obvious that, that I was going to be the guy, the sort of the superior person in the operation. And I had this role as kind of editor in chief, more or less, where I was just going to kind of, bless everything that that my underlings did as long as it was on the right track and stuff i wasn't going to get my hands dirty by doing the the nitty-gritty um and and raheem was going to be my kind of well, the managing editor the guy who made it happen but um raheem has many qualities i mean i think he's a very good media performer for example and he's definitely got a sense of attack but he's also outrageously ambitious ambitious in a way that i've i've rarely encountered before um, um and he's also very much the scorpion on the frog you know he will as you're as you're crossing the river he can't help it as you're ferrying him across if you're the frog he cannot help stinging you as he crosses because it's just in his nature um i so i fell out with him because he was constantly trying to undermine me and we had a lot of a lot of sort of vicious rivalry and i i i think he's got psychopathic qualities which i don't don't like very much however i kind of i kind of like what he's doing now in america i mean i, I it's it's a bit like having somebody um he's the equivalent of of having Paddy Main in the SAS, you know, he's not not necessarily a person you'd want to break bread with. He, he's a, he's a psychopath. He's dangerous, but he's quite good at killing the enemy. 
So that's rather my take on on Raheem. And I don't think he'd um he'd probably dispute that. Um right, I've answered your right, question. Well, so I, um, I've I've got things to, to to point out because you mentioned obviously that the evil World Economic Forum and the whole Davos thing that's going on right now and, and the Great Reset, which I don't know if anyone doesn't believe it's a real thing anymore because they're they're quite blatant about it. But they're, they're yeah, they are. I'll build back better quoted by everyone from Greta to um, Matt Hancock, Boris, uh, every, well, obviously Biden is doing it, but there is a counter developing for this. And you, you might have noticed uh, around on Twitter, uh, build back Britain. So there's a little bit of hope coming. Thank out. you, Bill. Thank you, Bill from Vienna. Bill, Bill's my 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 one of my most loyal supporters. Look, that, Thank that, you, Bill. That, that's a tip for a good answer. So yeah, nice one, Bill. Yeah. yeah so um, all of you lot, you're probably already all over it, but there is a hashtag and a little movement. Build back Britain. Now this is going to be the counter to build back better because it it, it it's it's the start of an anti globalist movement and. Uh, so, you know, use, use the hashtag Build Back Britain where you see Build Back Better because you, you can rest assured that it's going to be everything you want it to be standing against the, the thoroughly evil globalist movement. It is the counter to globalism. So it's a small start. But, yeah, if you, if you look out for Build Back Britain, our BBB will beat their BBB. And ours yeah. isn't evil like theirs. So, uh yeah, that's ju just a little thing that I'd noticed that was going on. So get behind it. Uh, and I certainly hope that 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 it that its its mission is to restore the old normal because God, I hate this new normal. It's absolutely shit. Well, who, um, who wants the new normal again? Uh, whenever new normal is mentioned, everyone I speak to from all um, shades of from, from bedwetter through to the staunchest uh, lockdown skeptic they all want the old normal so uh yeah. is is anyone is anyone here going to take the vaccine <laughs> sorry i meant the vaccine it's not even a vaccine is it uh because no, because i ain't i mean not not least dick because apparently if i i heard this from dolores dolores cahill um, right at the beginning of this of this scandemic, which is that if you have this this very dodgy non vaccine, and then you get exposed to the the wild virus, um, you're putting yourself at risk. Well, what they're not doing at the moment, unlike I think it was Norway releasing the figures, uh, the the numbers of those who had such an adverse reaction to the vax that they died. Nothing like that for, from from the country that is vaccinating more than anyone else. So they're not exactly being open about the figures. And we know that it will, will be having that adverse effect. All I've seen so far is a few people on Twitter saying, my perfectly healthy <laughs> granddad. Just somebody's like somebody's just, never working again. Yeah, you see, this is, I love all this. You know about, about game, GameStop. Oh, no. Well, basically, these the, there's a there's a there's a group on on Reddit of these of the of these kids that have that have been just completely messing with the financial system, um, and uh, ramping up the prices of companies by piling into them to the point you know just just often no hope companies, and they did a particular I I only know know about I about, heard about um, this. I didn't realize it was deliberately gaming the system for for lol. Yeah, yeah. I, I only know about GameStop because because um I do a I I have this um um my little um play playing investment thing with um with with Jim the rat my eldest, mm -hmm. and and. He he showed me. He sends me screenshots of of our investments, and he he he'd invested in in Game GameStop the other day, and uh, I saw that it sort of made sort of you know three hundred three hundred dollars in 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 twenty minutes and so on. And, uh, and uh, I hope he's managed to exit because because what what they were doing was they were they were doing a short squeeze. They'd seen a, a, one of the big institutional fund managers had had invested had, had was 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 shorting GameStop. So they decided to go the other way and pile into it to the point where where this company was 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 forced to pull out of the. Uh, well, it gets complicated, you know, mm. unless you've been 
unless you watch billions, you know what a short squeeze is. Um, you, you you probably won't understand. But anyway, it it has been it has been interesting, and uh, I kind I kind of like any act of rebellion against against the the system at the moment. It's just. Um, Oh yeah, Pimlico plumbers. Fuck them. Who's gonna ever use Pimlico plumbers? Oh, I noticed something this morning, Dick. So mm. I, I and I, I did actually mention this on one of my. I think I mentioned it on Gab. I I haven't decided yet. Do you think Gab is the place to go? Well, I, I've had an account on Gab for a long time, but you know I've got sort of like twenty eight thousand followers on Twitter until it dies completely. That is my uh, immediate big big reach. Bill, you're there again. <laughs> do Bill, I I've got it? I've got BTC, I've got Bitcoin and gold, obviously. Um, although I do get nervous about B BTC occasionally when I read articles saying it, it could go to zero. But yeah, I mean, I think it's um, I, I I think you've got to have some gold and you've got Simon to. Simon lamenting Bitcoin. the fact that he can't organise us, and that's probably part of our charm. Look, I want to talk about a few. I've got my Telegram site, by the way, Dick. Have you you, well, you haven't joined big, yet, big have you? Telegram. No, I haven't. I, I, because, I mean, what with Signal, because everyone's moving over to Signal, now they're jumping off WhatsApp because of the of the Facebook association. I'm probably yeah. going to be closing down my Facebook account because it's thoroughly evil. But um, there are so many platforms that you've got to be on now. It is really difficult to, 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 to keep up. Mm. Um, it is. I've got to mention two things. Yeah. One is our friend Nigel and his unflappable... Yeah, he's building his own app. Um, yes. He, he gave us a donation last time. I told him not to this time, but you all need to go to unflappable.com. That's unflappable as it sounds, but without an E, unflappable.com, and have a look at uh, what he's building because he wants to build um, a, a better build a better Twitter, for example. Because he wants to build back better. He does, he? he does want to. I'm build, not sure I like the sound. I, of that. I think Nigel probably wants to build back Britain, but uh, anyway, you, you you need to get on to that. And the other thing, after this podcast is finished, um, Simon, yeah. uh, our good friend Simon and Hector Drummond are doing a live cast together. I think it's scheduled to start at eight, which is when we were planning on finishing. If you look at Simon's mm. stream, uh, Simon Roberts is the man you're looking for. He's our our moderator. Simon will hopefully occasionally put up a link in in the chat to tell you where to go after this podcast has ended obviously you want to stick with this one because you know uh although we're kind of amateurish what 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 would you you, you say of simon and hector it's not going to be as good as you and me is it i think you've just got to say it dick and get out because it's fucking boring plugging stuff on 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 the people just get bored rigid i, I you know i mean Ooh. i think Simon. But they are they're great no, but it's boring. It's like you're like you're turning into Toby or something. Yeah, but, which would but be, you don't... Nigel paid us last time, and I want Nigel's thing to. No, work no, I know that I, I totally agree with that. But you just got to you just got to get in and get out because it's just okay. boring. I'm in. I'm I, it's, it, my attention span just can't cope with it. Right? Did you watch? Um, did you watch Inhuman Resources like I told you to? The Eric. No, Hansen not yet. Thing. All right. No. Well, we can't even talk um, about that now, can we? Well, I just want to. Was it your fault? I watched bo boredom in space. You what? You you don't like raised by wolves? I thought it was absolute shit. I was. I, I I will never get back the hours I spent watching paint dry in space. Uh, uh, it, <laughs> it was very cool. I thought it was great. Did you really? Come on, let's have a vote okay. from uh, our viewers. Did any of you I watch quite... raised by wolves? The, the I space quite fancy not the Caitlin Moran thing. I quite fancy mother. Um, I thought, I thought the kind of future combat scenes were quite good, but um, but like what? Did, you you did actually say I, I did actually ring you, um, mm -hmm. so you could explain to me what it was all about because I didn't yeah. understand it because I'd missed out the the, the 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 end of the first episode, which is kind of key, and um. I um uh you said to me bear in mind we'll get that, back to your question in a minute. Thank you. Bear in mind that 
Lydia and I watch an awful lot of shit and our tolerance is quite high. And I thought, yeah, you're really Mr. TV recommender that I can trust. Um, well, I'll just yeah. mention the fact that I've been, I was two seasons into Game of Thrones before you even heard of it. So uh, I'm right sometimes. Yeah, 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 well, but, uh, yeah. Oh, so it's we've got, great who is, Thank hair, you, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you who can fuck off right now, and that's hair on your site. Hair on your site. To the ladies is not. Raised by Wolves yeah, is good. Right. Yeah, well, he's on my yeah, side. Fuck off. I'm afraid yeah, you do exactly. lose points to, to the late because that, that was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, Daniel Gaskin yeah, yeah. Exactly. gave us a, a, a tenner and he said, I noticed an uptick in Stockholm syndrome recently. That said, I do work in a nice West Berkshire town, which is about as middle class as you can get. Uh, we're, everyone is going quietly mad in their own way. And um, yeah, we Stockholm are. syndrome is only the tip of the iceberg. I know, I know. So, where are people on on? Is it possible? Is it can it really be possible that we have four years of Biden and well, mainly Kamala Harris, controlled obviously by their sinister puppet ma master Barack Obama? Oh my God! There's no way Nigel is a, is, is a payment for the you know, good because we didn't whore ourselves. It was volunteered by Dick. Dick kind of offered his ass. But you know the tragedy is, now... I don't get to see any of this money because you are so bloody useless about all things financial. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah. I, I filled out this thing. Yeah. Google AdSense with a number on it. Yeah, I actually went through the rigmarole, so maybe, yeah, right. so maybe I will. How to get to the money that people have been kindly giving you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so I, I will I will share. It with you. Uh, <laughs> Simon's apologising to the people you're insulting. <laughs> I will. I I will. I I will be like Sir Philip Sidney at the Battle of Zutphen, and and you will be the the, the ordinary common soldier next to me, um, and I will say take. Thy need is greater than mine, I will say, as I hand you well, the nice. baubles that people are... You can yeah, answer exactly. Ollie 1984's question, because I think that's quite up on your um, agenda right now. Do I hope the Great re Reopening will be a success? Look, here's my view. I think it is absolutely imperative that we do everything in our power to resist, resist, resist. It's really important that it, it's gone, it got long past the stage where one could attribute any amount of good faith to what the government is doing it is part of the great reset and anyone anyone who thinks it's not part of this globalist takeover hasn't been paying attention it's 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 the great reset allied with the chinese communist party allied with agenda 2030 the un's agenda 2030 it's it, it, it's um and you'll notice climate but, change is being brought into it more and more little by little and it, it's all being conflated and tied up into the same evil package yeah um i think um anyway um yeah so uh great reopening we've got to take part um uh, i mean the are, are the companies that, that do it going to get absolutely hammered though well, this was, yeah, but it's a bit like saying before the storming of the Winter Palace, well, some of us might get shot. Well, mm -hmm. duh, that's that's kind of the point of revolutions. You can't, you can't, <laughs> oh yeah, thank you, Bill, that, that you can't really um, have a situation where uh, a sort of risk-free revolution it, it, but I get the feeling that those seen... of us who are aware, aware of, of your chain of, of thought here are the forlorn hope. And as you know, with the forlorn hope, they go in first and every man who survives, and it's unlikely that they do, will get a promotion. Um, however, there's no point in having a forlorn hope unless the, the, the main body of the attack comes in behind you. So uh, no. it, it, it may well be just, a, just an attack that gets completely wiped out. Because the, the country is completely cucked. They've been scared rigid by the evil BBC because some people, mm. God knows why, still listen to the BBC. Mm. Um, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm so despairing of what's happening that um, 
I think, where is the best hope? Is it to flee to... I still think America is our best hope. I mean, despite what's happened, I, I've still got... Am I mad here? I've still got faith that Trump is going to pull something off. I mean, the, there has been all sorts of activity going on in America. I've, you, you've seen, for example, that various states have finally got round to... Um, to changing their their voting system so that they don't have postal votes again so that's that's and that's an encouraging thing you see little glimmers of glimmers of hope or am i just have i just been imbibing too much hopium well um, texas would surely be a a destination that it, that's never going to completely fall i mean that there's some proper red meat states like texas that uh surely would be a safe bet but you're right well you, you try and pick another country i mean sweden was looking very appealing for a while but but they poor old sweden's been attacked so much for making their stand. it's been under pressure but it hasn't it, it hasn't uh, hasn't um caved in as much as i think that the bad guys would like um i mean F florida's florida is looking okay isn't it i mean well, that, the, the, the governor Trump's of florida chosen. has said masks are, 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 are no longer compulsory in my state and that um, and all the restaurants are open. Uh, people say it's in Brazil, but Brazil, yeah. But you see, the thing about Brazil um, is, A, they speak Portuguese, um, which is not one of my languages. And and B, um, there's quite a lot of violence there, isn't there? I think any South American country is going to have uh, its fair share of that. I mean, I've, I've got friends from I have, Mexico. I haven't, and they, sorry, they I haven't read it. Stand the Magnus up. I haven't read um, Jacques Ellul on technique after on technocracy. I'm going to have to I'm gonna read this thing. Well, I, 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 I missed, I I missed still, that um, Yeah. Um, I still think, surely, surely the Trumpistas are going to pull something off. I can, what, what was that thing he said before he went? That, that thing about the best is yet to come. Hang on. General landscape. I think it's someone doing a an ad, a link. Anyway, sorry, what, what, what did he say as he went? The, the best is yet to come, didn't he? Now, either he was trolling us, and, and, and the same applies to Pompeo, by the way. Pompeo was very upbeat. Now, this was not the behaviour of people who didn't have a plan. But, so, how do you explain it? It's just, just Trump and a, a sort of ridiculous prankster who was never as good at good at this shit as as he should have been uh as, as we as, as we admirers thought he might be or does he have a plan i just don't know hmm. so um, rapture has I, well, been, I, I, I don't know why I'm, i don't know why i'm looking looking for the comments to see whether it's it, it's a bit like looking for answers it's a bit anywhere it's 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 reading the room, doesn't it? It's a bit like like Simon Parks. You 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 put on Simon Parks and you think, am I just? Is it like having a very large spliff? This is it? Um, yeah. Um, or are they going to be? You know, are they just are they just prolonging our agony? Are we just better off sort of black pilling and recognizing that that? You see, for every person saying Japanese soldier territory, there's, there's, there's somebody else saying, yeah, I'm absolutely with you. Trump's going to walk away. No, this is the problem. It, it, it is you lot being no help. <laughs> you, yeah. No, we're not finding any hope know. in the comments today, that's for sure. Well, because we are divided. We are divided. What? So what happy, positive things can we, what, what, what useful things can we draw from our, our recent experiences? Well, the, the, you know, when, when the shit actually has hit the fan, we're still standing and it's not like we're going to go away. We're not going to quietly knuckle under and take part in whatever the Great Reset has to offer. You know that we'll always be, be fighting, but uh, the situation we, we are in might become ever more desperate. But I don't know anyone mm. who, who is turning around and saying, no, well, that's it, guys, we should give up. It's just not an option. So we keep fighting. Mm. Yes, we keep fighting. Uh, the the the, um, the inappropriate analogy I was I was I was thinking of before before Trump was it's a bit like saying 
um, there's a stage you go through where you're saying, no, the Nazis aren't going to round us all up and and um, uh, take us to death camps. You know, it will all resolve itself before then. You know, Hitler will be Hitler will be deposed and somebody sensible will come along and it's OK. It's worth hanging around in Germany and Austria and such stuff because it, it, it's the unthinkable. It, you, they, they'd never do that. They'd never practice genocide on us. They need us too much or whatever, or, or, or the system will resolve itself. So well, you go through that. People. And then, and then you suddenly find yourself in a. Thank you, John. Um, what what bug would I eat? When meat um, gets if banned. Meat got off. <laughs> banned. What bug? Well, I suppose the biggest, fattest, juiciest one. I suppose not slugs, not banana slugs. That killed the person. Oh, yeah. Thor, I, Thor's the, daughter bear. White House going completely dark at night. Well, you know, it, it, that's one of those moments, isn't it, where you hope that some weird shit is happening, that 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 there is a plan, and 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 um, <laughs> um, uh, that, that there's got to be some some explanation for all this, and that it's that it's a sign of hope. I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway, so you go through the stage where Hitler's not going to stay in power. It's all going to be resolve itself, and then there comes a point where you find yourself in a. a a, a train a, a, a carriage, carriage saying a cattle carriage saying eight horses whatever it is or how many many men and you realize actually shit just got real and then you have to abandon your hitler's going to be deposed and it's all going to be okay and you have to move into how do i get off this death train before um before uh we all die and so I before think you, you just know have it, to you're adapt pulling to at the floorboards with your bare fingers trying to escape. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that, um, that's, that's a little currently bit of I'm, for you all. Stephen Lane, our old friend Stephen Lane, thank you for your contribution. I once blocked Stephen Lane on Twitter because we fell out over something and you made me unblock him and I'm very glad you did. So sorry about that, Stephen. Yes, I am probably I'm probably volunteering to be a Zonda commando, I would have thought. It's uh, I I I'm the thing is, if we all if we all submit to despair, what happens is we'll just get lots of lots of illnesses and we'll be really unhappy and um, our families will be unhappy and we won't be in a very good position to fight back. Whereas if You're very right about, of... about staying fit. Uh, I've been doing a lot more cycling because obviously I've had my beloved swimming pool taken away from me, the local municipal pool where I do a mile every morning. Um, keeps you on an even keel. So you, you, everyone, you've got to get out there and keep fit. Don't. But you can't. But you're not doing that, Dick. Hmm? How are you going? How are you going to your municipal pool when it hasn't it been cancelled? No, I've been cycling instead. Oh God! Have you got a lycra outfit? I am in lycra every day. Yeah, I am a mammal. What colourful one? Middle-aged man in lycra. It's not coloured. No, it's all black. The thing is, if you're cycling, I, I, you don't I'm need sorry. things flapping around. That's why you wear lycra. You can't have flappage. Um, um, Bill, I'm I'm quite excited with what's happening in the Netherlands. I'm I'm and I, I got. Do you know what? It's and bad, Italy. but I got I I got excited when somebody when one of the mayors said it's going to be civil war. I'm thinking, well, finally, finally, the people are taking it seriously. I do not see how this is going to end end peacefully. I don't just. Do you see any indication that Boris and co are going to do anything to, to rein Other in their out, out of the I, globalists? No. Funnily enough, last time I, I was mean, in the Netherlands, I took part in uh, a civil war. I was um, refighting the war of Spanish succession at Grolla. You did. It was a fantastic event. And, I, and you won, didn't you, Dick? Um, I um, think I did. I think I was on the right side. But yeah, the Dutch, um, the Dutch now had a civil war. You're going to be off for your um, your din din soon, aren't you? What have you got tonight? No? Well, I did just have the white count the wife come in, and I, it, there was a kind of vibe she was giving off. Like, are you talking more of your stupid, crazy shit to your weird people that I can't stand, um, as as wives do? So, yeah. um, so I think that um, anyway, um, keep the faith, everyone. You know, and keep um, keep fit because you can't fight unless you're fit, and it will fit. do wonders for your um, state of mind. Um, 
I get very, very dark when I haven't been exercising for a while. So, uh, yeah, keep fit, uh, keep smoking, keep drinking as well. Of course, that's very, very important. Yeah. Yeah. And which is exactly it's, what um, I'm going to do now, because, of course, tonight is a Wednesday and I would normally be in the pub with my friends. Uh, it's not necessarily a third Wednesday, but that will come back one day. We will have our pubs back. Do you, I, I, I was I was going to propose, Dick, that you and I started. We become like these gurus, a bit like because I mean, you know what? The irony is that that all the criticism of my Charlie Ward pod, podcast it got it got twice as many hits, YouTube hits, as my previous best, which was with Douglas Murray. I mean, what does that tell you? There was an appetite for this shit. Yeah. So I, mean, I, I didn't think think maybe... Charlie Ward completely because uh, a lot of what he said was great, but it sort of. I don't know. I think you, you, you've, t you've got to go through. There's going to be a, a certain amount of lunacy in amongst the, the, the nuggets of gold in, in anyone's theories. So, uh, yeah, we, we, you, you and I are both in in um, conspiracy theory territory and we're embracing it quite happily. Uh, the, 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 the conspiracy no, theories of all are now I our people. Well, all I was thinking is, is although I think we'd be very good at doing a kind of Charlie and Simon Parks type show and, and getting a massive audience and monetizing, monetizing the shit out of it. Um, <laughs> there's a one, one, one problem, which is that what's the point of being rich or having any money at all in the world where we're soon going to get all our possessions taken away from us and be forced to eat bloody, bloody vegetables and insects? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can buy better well, vegetables and better insects. Only yeah. the best insects for us in our future. Somebody world. says X twenty two is U.S. intelligence. How do you know is U.S. intelligence though? I mean, Simon's just put up a, little... a, a link, I think, to More his. Oh no, he's, he's put up a, a link to James's Twitter feed. Simon, put up a link to your um, upcoming podcast. Oh look, and he's, he's doing us more favors here. Simon, you should probably be starting your, your um, podcast with, with Hector any minute. So hopefully he will soon put up a link and you can jump up straight on to, to Hector and, and Simon's uh, live cast. So, uh, yeah, in, enjoy that. Um, Bill, the answer to your question is, it what? was um, Thingy, um, what's his name, from the, the Mail on Sunday columnist, um, um, Dan, Dan Hodges. I mean, actually, I thought it was fair enough. You, you know, she, she, she'd said that... Um, well, it was sort of fair. I mean, she said, oh, I want to kill him. It was obviously he didn't want to kill him, but people get funny about these things in these times. Anyway. Um, okay. I've got to go now because it, yeah. because a, it's, it's a, the new live cast for you to go and watch. So go and watch that. Go and watch Simon and Hector. And, um, and, and Simon's just put a link on it there. So you can go there now. I'll talk to you. Yes. I'll talk to you in a minute. It's great to see you all. And um, Dick and I will do another one soon. And um yeah, thanks for coming, yeah. everyone. And um, yeah, keep the faith. We love you. We love you. We do. We do. Okay. Okay, then. Bye-bye, um, brother. Enjoy your food. Bye. 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 Bye.